Hi and welcome back to tutorial 60 in this series of tutorials and programs which focus on TradeStation Easy Language. Uh, this is the third video in the series for tutorial 60 and uh, I had a few questions about how to apply this or the, the, the various options for applying this to a chart so I just wanted to uh, go over that and uh, show you a couple of different ways. The screen that you can see here is applied to subchart 2 and uh, can also be applied to subchart 1 which is what we did in the original tutorial. So what I'm going to do is uh, open a new chart and just show you the uh, how that works for, in both cases. So firstly I'm just going to insert indicator and look for tutorial 60 or 60A in this case and having applied to it to the chart I'm just going to double click the tutorial and I'm uh, going to change a couple of things. I'm going to base this on subchart 1 and I'm going to set the uh, the scale to be a minimum of minus 200 and a maximum of 200 and I'm going to say OK. So what's happened there is the uh, scaling for the price itself has been set to no axis and we can see the CCI. Uh, incidentally if you wanted to uh, show the histogram as well uh, you could just change the second plot of the CCI to histogram. But what we cannot see there are the uh, the trend lines. So to do that what we do is we go format symbol and we change the uh, mark the uh, the range for the symbol itself to exactly the same as we did for the indicator and there we see the lines <clears throat> and the lines and the trend lines and the CCI. So that's how we did it in the original tutorial. I want to show you another example of how we would do it if we wanted to see it in subchart 2 and uh, it's going to open a new chart analysis. I'm going to insert symbol and I'm just going to insert in this case the same symbol as the one that we have in the, uh, the main part or rather subchart 1. Then I'm going to insert the indicator and again we're looking for 60A as we did before. I'm going to say OK. Then I'm just going to double click on this and uh, first of all we'll draw the histogram again. And then in terms of scaling I want this to be on sub chart 2 and also I want the scale to be fixed to be minus 200 and up to 200. So I'm going to say OK. And again you'll see now for the uh, for the price that has been set to no access. And again we can now see the CCI but we can't see the trend lines. So the uh, the final thing we have to do is double click or actually two more things we need to do. Firstly is we need to for the the uh, price action itself we need to get, change that to minus 200 uh, to 200 and we'll say OK there. Again, we still can't see those trend lines. We need to do one more thing, that is double click or rather open up the uh, the format indicator for the indicator. And uh, we need to click on the general tab like so. And then we need to base this on two, which is the uh, the second data stream. And then you'll see the lines on subchart two. The only other thing you might have to do if you had a uh, stock for instance that was trading in sort of roughly the same uh, in other words it had prices going up to 200 then what you might like to do is also go format symbol and then for data 2 uh, just go in there and for style maybe say dot on close and then just change that to to black so it would just mean that you would uh, you would not see the uh, the price action of course you might wish to but uh, that's one way of uh, of not uh, making sure you don't see it. Anyway, uh, hopefully that uh, is, explains a little bit about how to apply this indicator to a chart or a subchart. Uh, again, if you're not part of the Markplex email list, then go to www.markplex.com and uh, sign up there. Thank you.